today we will see the application of artificial intelligence in previous module i taught you about the logic behind artificial intelligence it works on the fuzzy logic fuzzy logic means from 0 to 1 there can be many possibilities correct 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.9 also today we will see the application part of the artificial intelligence why application is important for your artificial intelligence or, or, or any other emerging technology because UPSC is not interested in technical form UPSC is interested in your application form that's why in 2020 Philips paper we have witnessed such kind of questions UPSC will not ask you very technical questions it will ask you very logical and application based question so that's why I brought the application part of the artificial intelligence in this module yes application of artificial intelligence especially in agriculture you know world has been witnessing lot of climate change I think for 10 years or for 15 years and yes today also we have witnessed such kind of climate change and every day actually we are witnessing that means it will impact on the food security also especially the agriculture so with the help of artificial intelligence we can increase our productivity of the crops so it is a very smart technology we should we should you should we should use it in a very very smart manner so that we can tackle the menace of the climate change artificial intelligence holds the promise of driving a food revolution and meeting the increased demand of the food correct we need to produce 50 percent more food to cater around additional 2 billion people by 2050 because yes the amount of population the number of population increases we have to produce more food to tackle the problems of malnourishment and other that are associated with the human being so and yes also we are witnessing the climate change so it is a very difficult to balance so we should use such technology which can enhance the productivity of crops that's the artificial intelligence artificial intelligence has the potential to address challenges such as your such as your demand prediction controlling the overuse misuse of fert uh, pesticides fertilizers improvement in crop yielding through real time monitoring of crop health advisory of to farmers advanced detection of pest attacks monitoring of wealth weather patterns and accurate weather prediction and prediction of crop prices to inform sowing practices every things are associated with your agriculture agricultural activity so by seeing the health of soil we may go for the irrigation or we may not go for the irrigation by seeing the climate condition we may go for the irrigation so with the help of artificial intelligence we can gather some information or on that basis of information we can further proceed and increase our system especially the agriculture sector so simple you see the second that is the first, all about the first application in agriculture sector and there may be actually you can think lot of things internet of things i told in the previous class how internet of things being employed in your agricultural sector sensor by sensor we had by sensor connected with the irrigation facility and artificial intelligence actually have a internet of things internet of things is a broader and artificial intelligence always be there always application of artificial intelligence in healthcare can help address issues of high barrier to assess the healthcare facility if you have problem in uh, in health in assessing your healthcare active uh, facility you can assess with the help of artificial intelligence like there is a telemedicine system if you are if doctor is in urban area he can also do surgery of uh, village people village patients 
because of the artificial intelligence the more you have a good uh, internet system 5g technology there is a there is a less delay time because time is a very important thing data receive and data collect oh, sorry data send and data receive very very important in order to do such kind of surgery or other important healthcare facility so for that also you need a artificial intelligence to be there application of artificial intelligence in healthcare can help address issues of high barriers to access the healthcare facility because the people living in the mountain area cannot access the healthcare system immediately so if we have a good artificial intelligence we can provide from the remote areas to the remotest part of this country also particularly in the rural areas that suffer from poor connectivity and limited supply of healthcare professionals because rural india is known for the less number of doctors dhola yeah. chap doctor also there yeah. so for that we need have a such a robust artificial intelligence system this can be achieved through implementation of use cases like ai driven diagnostic yes mm -hmm. artificial intelligence diagnostic treatment yeah. from here we can control the seizure from here we can control the other equipments personalized treatment yes if you have if you have particular symptoms with particular diseases that can be cured with a particular medicines and it can be only possible with the help of artificial intelligence because i told you number of times in future also you will have personalized medicines you go and say this is this uh, people who are same medicine with a different category will give you uh, doctor will a doctor or prescriber or chemist will give you it is a personal uh, personalized medicines the personalized treatment early detection of potential pandemic covid 19 like with the help of artificial intelligence you can predict the early detection of pandemics and imaging diagnosis also x ray y ray with the help of artificial intelligence you can also go for the imaging diagnosis and other also that means in healthcare system healthcare facility we have a lot of application of artificial intelligence you see education in education also you can have such artificial intelligence thing application of artificial intelligence in education include augmenting enhancing the learning experience through personalized learning because today yes yeah, 21st century is known for the modern technology and we are giving education in a very a traditional way which i used to speak uh, which i actually often speaks about the way english is, is being teaching yes. and ganjadeep plan is very absolute absolute very traditional yes. so with the help of artificial intelligence we can give such beautiful experience to the students because students have very different mind if you present anything in a good manner students automatically will be attracted and may become may enhance their uh, interest towards the learning because of artificial intelligence we have a 4d 4d spec spectacles 5d spectacles by seeing the spectacle we see, we feel in a real sense we feel in a real sense it is a thanks to the artificial intelligence in this way also like you see baiju app there is a some kind of artificial intelligence being used by uh, by uh, in solving the mathematics model and that's why baiju is expanding like a fire same thing because it has to in augment and enhance the learning experience through personalized learning automated and smart test evaluation of test smart uh, test evaluation of the test and predicting the need for students intervention to reduce dropout so that the drop out drop out rates of the schools may decrease and more number of students can join the schools for that you need have such big technology and innovative technology that can address the problems of the student because all students are not comfortable with the traditional setup they are not comfortable so for that we need to have project uh, your project we need to have artificial intelligence technology so that student can understand in real sense you see other application of artificial intelligence 
other field which can be benefit immensely from artificial intelligence include your automobiles automobiles vehicles automobile finance and economics also yes we see bitcoin yes bitcoin cyber security yes artificial intelligence is closely related to your cyber security government and judicial administration yes you know a lot of lakhs of cases have been pending in supreme court and high court yes. and crore of cases have been pending in your district court yes. correct yeah. so if you have a smart artificial intelligence which have coded with the many laws so see the what is the problem it will result automatically produce the result so in this way the burden of the judiciary can be also reduced yes. so yes it can be employed in the government as well as judicial administration system also mm. military also yes we have we should have a uh, we should have a drone technology yes, okay. yes. and drone technology is all about artificial intelligence yes. hospitality tourism sector mm. yeah. yes tourism sector hotel sector we require artificial intelligence there is a robot will come and do namaste yeah. collect money also now you see the global developments in artificial intelligence what about the global a global uh, concern or not concern global interest towards artificial intelligence countries around the world are becoming increasingly aware of the potential economic and social benefits of developing and applying ai all are very aware that if you develop ai it will cater the economic needs in future you see China and UK estimate that 26 and 10 percent of their respective GDP will increase by 2030 if they focus on the artificial intelligence-related activities and its associated businesses. That means by 2030, China will get 25 percent share, around 25 share, 25 percent share, only from the artificial intelligence. That's why in Chinese mobile we have artificial intelligence features. There has been a tremendous activity concerning artificial intelligence policy position and development of artificial intelligence ecosystem in different countries over the last three four three four years. In different countries, we have seen awareness towards the artificial intelligence technology. In, uh, in infrastructural supply uh, side intervention have been planned by various countries for creating large ecosystem for AI development. That's why there are lot of infrastructure development takes place. by seeing the emerging by seeing the future scope of artificial intelligence because you cannot ignore artificial intelligence in future so that's why there are lot of infrastructure that are dedicated to your uh, artificial intelligence many countries you see the example many countries have instituted dedicated public offices such as ministry of artificial intelligence in ui united emirates uh, arab of emirates and ai council uk while china and japan have allowed existing minister to take over the development and implementation ai you see globally separate department separate ministry have been formed in order to give special attention towards artificial intelligence so you can see you see the impact impact what impact made by the artificial intelligence because states are going very keenly very interesting way in an interesting way towards the artificial intelligence and china is claiming that by 2030 i will develop around 25% my gdp only from the ai artificial artificial technology you see so big no 25% is so big now you will see the global partnership on ai yes there are a global partnership although the global partnership on ai that is uh, on artificial intelligence that is gpai this uh, program initially contemplated by the g7 you know g7 yeah. we speak about the minimum global standard of your corporate house yeah. corporate talks corporate tax yeah. the same organization developed your global partnership and later on many countries joined in this group you see Global Partnership on Artificial Intelligence is a multi-stakeholder initiative. It aims to use the technology to bridge the gap between theory and practice on artificial intelligence. Because you know there is a lot of theories, but there is no such practical things. So in order to in order to bridge between the uh, in order to bridge between uh, in order to yes bridge the gap 
in order to maintain the gap what is in theory what is in practical so these are countries are coming together so that research from one country can be used in another, another country yes and applied activities and artificial intelligence related priorities g7 is the implementation of idea developed within the g7 i told you and it was launched in june 2020 you see now many countries came together and become the part of the global partnership on ai you see australia canada france germany india european union united kingdom united states new zealand republic of korea that is your south korea singapore slovenia italy japan mexico you see many countries come together because they all are aware of the artificial intelligence the importance of artificial intelligence brazil netherlands poland spain also joined in december 2020 there may be a potential question on such a issue it is a current affairs, it is December 2020. Whether India is a part of global partnership on AI? There may be a question or there may be a lot of uh, countries name and you have to separate. Yes, actually this is the last line of this module. Because second module also I attach. Because second module is totally dedicated to India's program of artificial intelligence. If time allows, I will teach to today also. It's significance of G, uh, global partnership on artificial intelligence. It helps in providing a platform for sharing research. Correct? Identify key issues among artificial intelligence practitioners. Researchers, because researchers may not get uh, data. And if you have such consortium, if you have such groups, you can find research paper also. So mutual cooperation can take place and it will benefit the whole world. It works for facilitating an internal international collaboration which reduces the duplication. Yes, it will obviously reduce the duplication because if I am doing the research on XYZ, you do not need to research on XYZ. Go for the ABCD. So it necessarily reduces the duplication and acts as a good reference point for specific artificial intelligence issues as well. It ultimately leads to the adoption of trustworthy artificial intelligence because of the global support. Because of all support, that means it will produce the most trustworthy artificial intelligence. And also there is infinity IPR. Also yes, yes, yeah, correct. Yeah, very good, very good. It will also solve the problem of artificial uh, intellectual property rights. Very good. GPAISS, scientific socio-economic information collected it on the comprehensive, objective, open and transparent basis. Yes, one can uh, assess data from the library because of the virtue of your consortium. Yeah. Yes, public domain. Yeah. It can be uploaded in the public domain, yeah. and anyone can yes. use the uh, access that data. Very good. This information is relevant for understanding the AI impacts on the society, leading to its development and options for adoption and mitigation of potential challenges like climate change, other things. Mm -hmm. So it will be very very productive for all the people across the world. Mm -hmm. So that's all about artificial intelligence. Yes. In second module. We'll have different things. Okay.